Nazi math. The classroom exploded in happy conversation. Yes, Fritz said, clenching his fist beside me. This is great. Into the real Hitler youth a year early. I was excited too. Entry into the senior Hitler youth would mean even better chances to gather information for the Allies. Now, instead of having to wait to sneak into rooms during dinner parties, I would be given a position of real service in the city, where I could dig up some truly useful Nazi secrets. But then I remembered. To become a senior member of the Hitler Youth, you had to pass a series of physical tests, and there was one I knew I couldn't pass, and never would. I sank in my chair. Just when my career as a spy was about to take off, it was going to crash and burn. All right, enough, Herr Professor Dr. Major Melker said. If this were a university classroom, we would already be studying calculus, the mathematics of the heavens. As it is, I must debase myself with the mathematics of firebombs and distances marched. Clear your desks for your test. I shared Herr Professor Dr. Major Melker's distaste for our math exams. Nazi math was always about war stuff. Questions like, a squadron of 346 bombers drops firebombs on an enemy city. Each airplane carries 500 bombs. How many fires will be caused if 30% of the bombs are hits and only 20% of the hits cause fires? Or, the Jews are aliens in Germany. In 1933, there were 66,060,000 inhabitants in the German Reich, of whom 499,682 were Jews. What was the percentage of aliens? I sighed and attacked the test like the French resistance attacking the occupying Nazi troops, but hoping for better results. When we finished, it was time for one of our many outdoor Hitler Youth training exercises. Officially, school and the Hitler youth, youth were separate, but whatever the Hitler Youth wanted, like time away from school to exercise and train, they got, which in the dead of German winter was even more unbearable. If you're afraid of freezing to death, don't worry, Herr Professor Dr. Major Melker said with barely hidden disgust. I understand some of you will be keeping warm today by burning books.